I'm Ashmail12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a rotating thumbnail when a user hovers over um, um, the thumbnail of the image. So you've probably seen it before when you're hovering over um, say a thumbnail of a video um, the image will change and gives you sort of like a little preview of the video. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first of all um, I've just got a blank page up here um, and this is basic code. I have got a jQuery file since I'm going to be working with jQuery. Um, so if you haven't got jQuery, you'll probably need this for this tutorial unless you can convert it back into just pure JavaScript. Um, and this is basically my structure. I have got my index file here. Um, it is PHP, although um, I I'm not going to use any PHP during this but you probably will be using PHP to hard code and um, well not hard code to dynamically um, create um, a few um, JavaScript code and probably the images as well um, from the like the database just things like that um, and video 1 and video 2 this is basically the IDs of the video I've just called it video 1 and video 2 but you'll probably have um, the video ID there or the name if you want. Um, in that I have just got three images. Um, obviously you'll probably have the video in here as well but since I've I don't actually not going that far I've just not bothered. Um, so that's basically the three images. Um, also they were created from my other um, video which was the um, um, this one here get thumbnail screenshots from video using FFmpeg um, so that's that. So now let's get started. So first of all, I'm just going to uh, ahref. Um, and inside this, alright. Sorry about that. I had to uh, take a phone call. Um, where was we up to? Right. So the image. Um, ID obviously this will probably come dynamically from the database or something like you probably use PHP tags in here and echo say um, video ID in there but since I'm just going to hard code this in and just put video one um, but you'll probably dynamically put the ID into there um, the same with the source obviously um, you'd have the ID of the video which is video one um, forward slash one dot um, JPG or whatever you saved them as. Um, so obviously, so this video one would be exactly the same as the ID. So you um, dynamically put the directory name there, well the uh, the video ID name for the directory, and then obviously all the ones in there will start with one dot JPEG or one dot PHP or A or first or whatever. Um, basically, the name of the um, image file. Um, so that's basically it. And um, for one, what I'm just going to do is do a second one. Um, so basically, I'm going to just copy all this over. Um, video two and two there. Okay, so if I just uh, come out onto the page, we've basically got these two images here, and um, which are going to be the video thumbnails. Obviously, as we hover over them, nothing happens. And um, so we're going to uh, do that now. So obviously. I'm just going to do the script um, forward slash JavaScript in the same file here, but um, I would recommend putting this in an external file just to save up a bit of space as well on your page. Um, just like the jQuery up here. Um, right, so first of all, we need to set an interval variable. So var interval equals set. Okay, and that base this interval basically, if you don't know what interval is, it's so you can con con control actions every so many seconds. So, um, so for our, in our case, what we're going to do is change the image source every so many seconds. In our case, I think uh, we'll probably do one second. Um, so every one second, the image will change. Um, but we also need to do a for loop or something later on. Um, so now, um, basically, this what I'm going to do now. 
so uh, basically get the ID of the uh, that image tag and um, most all this code what I'm going to do now is probably going to be dynamically created so dynamically created um, I'll, put, I'll put most like from PHP um, and just to put up here um, this is basically just um, setting the interval variable okay and what I'm going to do actually is just um, put some lines here so you can see when the dynamics um, code stops so video one dot mouse over um, we're going to run a function in this um, okay and in so when the when some when someone hovers their mouse over the video one thumbnail uh, basically what we're going to do is create a function out here our own function so making the image change when when hovering so that's going to be a function called mouse over um, and we're going to pass it to the video ID um, okay so we're just going to put mouse over in there and then pass it to the video ID um, which in this case it's video one but you'll probably dynamically create it so for something like this in PHP it'll just be like that echo um, ID in there and then the same would go into there so you just dynamically put in the IDs in um, but for now I'm just going to keep it like that and we need the same here for um, video 2 so it's, it's simple enough um, and then in this function down here we've created um, first of all we need to create a var num equals and we're going to put 2 in there um, so then we're going to do interval equals set interval and we're going to run a function in here um, ok and so we go on there um, so in this interval basically we're going to run every 1000 seconds um, so what we're going to run every 1000 seconds is we're going to do um, hash in there plus the video ID that was um, passed to the uh, function so this basically is sort of equivalent to this up here so we're just getting the ID um, dot attr so attribute and we're going to change the source attribute to the um, um, we don't need that much of the video ID plus forward slash plus the number sorry this is actually the uh, the not how many times we want to rotate but the uh, image number sorry um, so yeah technically um, it will just increment over and then plus dot jpg so if you kind of put this out in a way basically what this will do is create something like source so inside the uh, image tag so if I just copy this just for now just to show you what this will look like basically in the source tag it will change it will put in the video ID which was video two or whatever forward slash the number of what we've got up there dot jpg so basically this is where it, this is the next um, image that's going to be shown so obviously the first one was shown anyway so once the user hovers over uh, we're going to show the second image the second thumbnail um, okay so what we're going to do now is create an if statement so if 
um, we can do if number equals 3. So basically, if um, the number is equal to 3, then we've reached the maximum, if you know what I mean. So we've reached the maximum of how many images we've got. Because if it changes to 4, obviously we haven't got a 4.jpg. So um, if it does go to 3, we're going to do num equals 1. So we're going to reset the value of number back to 1. So then it can start again rotating from the first one. Else, num plus plus. So increment the number by 1. Okay, so that's going to run every one second as we've got here. Every one second. A thousand milliseconds is one second. If you want it half a second, it's 500. I'm just going to stick with one second. Um, and I think that should just about do it. So if we come out and refresh the page, we try it out. There we go. As I'm hovering over it, it um, rotates and just keeps on doing it. And if I move my... Um, also way obviously it's still um, it's still got a problem because it's still rotating and the same with this one this should obviously work as well yes it rotates um, but as, as we move the mouse away um, it's still rotating so what we have to do is back in here um, if we just come under this function and we're just going to clearing the interval and resetting the image back to the first image. So we function called mouse out, we're going to create it ourselves and we're going to pass it to the video ID again. Um, so we're going to clear the interval first um, and we called it interval up there, the variable was called interval um, and basically we're just going to copy this um, but obviously change something here so we're not putting a number um, into that we're just going to hide code um, uh, let's see we're just going to hard code one dot jpeg into that so now if we um, well obviously this won't work at the moment because we now need um, copy these actually what I'm going to do is um, video one code video two code so obviously this will be dynamically created and um, so if I just do this video one dot um, mouse out we're going to call the mouse out function um, mouse out so video oh no that's the wrong one um video one dot mouse out um mouse um out we want to call mouse out on video two right hopefully I've done that right um and let's try it now so if we refresh hover over it obviously it works and if we move our cursor away it will stop um, it will clear the interval so it will stop rotating and it will also if you look the first image here is HTML and um, if I move my um, cursor away when it's on um, Guitar Hero so when it comes around it instantly resets it back to the first image of HTML so that's how to create a simple rolling image well video thumbnail image rotating um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time